Hello everyone, it's Lori. Today I just want to do a quick art journal page in the art journal that I made. Um, I've already got some gesso down on the paper. I'm going to use Dilutions paints. Mine are very old, some of them are real funky, but that's alright. They still work. And I'll use the blending tools with them. I'll use some stencils. This one's a sticky back one, so I gotta see how well that's gonna work. Um, this is a very old one. I think it's a crafter's workshop. I can't be perfectly right there. Um, Tim Holtz. And to clean off my stamp pads or whatever, the other tiny little art journal that I made, I'll just clean off my sponge daubers onto here. So, let's begin. This will be my sentiment that I used today. I'll put this on my page. All right, so. Let's begin. Like I said, they're very old. Ooh, and they seem to be hard to open up. Let me move my trash can over so I can tap off any excess that I get. Ah, this one looks pretty good. They're they're very thick. That I'll say. Um, just put a little bit on there. I'll scrape the majority of it off. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that I have some on my little sponge dauber. Oops, that's what I mean by they're a little crusty, but that's all right. And I'll just put some on here, get it spread out, stamp it down. And I'll take this and just clean off my um, thing so that it's clean and ready to move on with the next color, which I think I will use <clears throat> fresh lime. Hopefully that's not gross. Ew, and it is, but that's okay. It's still spreadable. It's just a little funky. And I'll take the same one. Why not? And I'll just pick up some of that green and throw that in here. Because all I want to do is just get some color down. I can even mix some of it. Put some right there. Come over to this one and just clean it off. And that way, when I go to do something in this little one, I'll already have a page made. Now, yeah, let's go for some bubblegum pink. Ooh, there's dust on them too. <sighs> that ought to tell you how old they are. I'm opening them up over my trash can so that any dried up pieces fall in the trash can. That one looks good. Um, they don't fall on the paper. Oh, well, maybe. Who knows? It seems a little dry, but we'll get some on there. Still goes on. <clears throat> and I'll take my finger and... Move it about. Oh, let me move up. I'm sorry. Move this out of the way. And I'll come over to my other book and put some down. Because it's almost like doing two art pages at once. See? Close that one up. Mm. 
Now, let's see. Maybe a little more turquoise in the middle because I have the red and the blue for when I use the stencils. So, what I'll do is I'll just pick up a tiny bit of blue. Oh, dog here. No. And just fill in where I want. Oops, that was too much. Anyway. Um, I'll take a wet wipe. That's good because I'm just not going for perfection. I'll just add more there. Blend it with my hand. And that's good there. And I'll just mix that down on there. All right, I'm going to dry this real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to grab a trusty little paint palette, which is a Tupperware lid that I could no longer find the Tupperware for. And I'll get a little bit of the red to put through one of the stencils. And that one's still pretty good. I've had these for many, many, many years. And let me find a tiny little something to scoop the paint out with. A paintbrush will work. And just put it down so that I can pick it up with one of the pouncers or I could use the brush. And I'm going to go for this one. I like these lines so what I think I'll do is just come in here Pull it down and grab another pouncer. Pick some of it up. Mush it around in there. Come over here and get some of these lines in it. Let me move you just a little bit closer. And I'll come over here, add some lines. Just to add some texture. And I'll go down here. And there we go. And I'll move you back out a little bit. There we go. And do a tiny bit up in this corner. Alright, that works. I'll put that over there. I'll add some red there. Now, I want to go for the London Blue. That was post box red. I know that my London Blue is really funky, but it still works. See, it looks like cottage cheese, which is fine. I will rinse off the brush. Sorry about being out of focus again, or not out of focus, but out of shot. And I'm just gonna try to pick up some of this blue. Put it on here. Get another little Dollar Tree dauber and try and work that paint in on my little palette. Maybe add a little tiny spurts of water. Sorry for the arm in the way. Well, there are some chunky bits to it, but there, I put them back in. Um, let's try this. This is a sticky back one, so 
I'm not sure how well we're going to do with this, but we can only try. So I don't want to go there, so I'll just add some there. That looks pretty good. Right here. I'm just making some nice pattern on here. There we go. And I'll just throw that back on here until I can take it and get it cleaned up. All right. Now I want to go in black with the Tim Holtz one. So what I'll do is I'll just take some Apple Barrel black and put a little bit on my paint palette and I'll just pick it up and look to see where I want to add black dots. I think I'll put some black dots and I'm not pressing down hard. I'm actually doing barely lightly on there and some over here because I don't want to leave too much of a ridge on my black dots so I just go very lightly on there. Alright. Some at the top there. And maybe a couple over here. Alright, that looks good. And then I know I want to add some white splashes to this. So I'm going to go off camera and dry this before, well, let me just do my white splashes real quick. Um, I have a baby wipe. I'm just going to wipe off, wipe this off real quick so that when I put my white paint down, I'm not picking up too much of any paint that I had down. And that's as good to go. So I'll just add some white little white dots we'll add a little bit of water over to the side pick that up load up my fan brush And I'm just going to take a water brush just to tap those down. I want to load it up even more. See how much I can get on here. That looks good. Now I'm going to go off camera and dry it. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Um, I want to put a border around it, so I have these Dilusions borders. I believe I'm going to use this one that looks like a bunch of eyeballs. So what I'm going to do is I'll wipe this paint off. And just... Make some black paint. And water it down just a little bit. I'm going to put the water in the corner. And then I'll bring it over and I'll just mix up the water with the paint. Because not everybody has um, archival ink, but everybody can get 50 cent paint and it will dry and be just fine. Let's see. That works. So, let me get in shot here and so that you can see me putting it in the paint. 
I have paint on there. Oof. Sorry for the reach over. And I'll just lightly press it down. I'll lift it to the side. And there we go. And I'll pick up some more. And I'll have a wet wipe ready to put down this down on so that the paint doesn't dry. And it'll clean up nice. There's that. And I'm just right here. Dipping my stamp in the black paint. I'll come over here and lay it down and just run my finger down it. I don't want to press too hard because it's paint. Pick it up. Like I did there. But that's all right. It adds character. I'll come to the corner and I'll hold my finger here. And there we go. Then I'll just take a wet wipe, wipe it off. As long as it stays wet until I can put it in the, you know, sink and clean it off, it'll be good to go. And then, you know what, I don't want to waste this paint, so maybe I'll add some black splashes to it. Just a little bit more. All right, now I'll wipe this off real quick. The baby wipe from Dollar Tree. And I'll dry this really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm gonna fix some of my little circles. I have a, just a paint pen from Craftsmart, they come Two to a pack. I think they're like four dollars. And I'm just gonna fix some of my circles. And let me turn this. Just touch them up. These are really good paint markers. Um, they work great on a lot of things. There we go. Let me come down here. And I also have a, sh a very old Sharpie water-based. Let's see if this works because I want to fill in some of my little dots here. Not all of them, just some of them. Just to break it up. Add a little more texture and a better border. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just turn my book as I go. Sorry if I was out of frame.
Just a quick little border. And I might want to put some little stars in here. Why not? I can do whatever I want. It's, it's just an art journal page. It's almost like, to me, the more you have on here sometimes, the more I like it. All right. Now, my sentiment. I'm going to put right there. And I want a couple of crosses. I'll just do them in clusters of three. Sorry. I don't know if you can see them. All right. And then... <clears throat> Let me pull it back down just a little bit. I'm I'm learning. I really am. I'm whoops. Put it back in there. And I'll use this brush. It's just a a brush that comes with gelatos. And I'll move this over. I'm gonna put my sentiment there. Make sure I get it on there good. I probably have too much, but will. I'll just put that down. I'll smooth it out first with my fingers so that I don't get too many wrinkles. And if I see where I need more, I'll put more. And I'll brush outward to get rid of any buckling. If I see where it needs some, I'll just slide my brush under there. And then I can just pick this up and spread this over here if I need to. Just so I don't waste it. And let me just smooth this out a little bit. All right. And that's it. When life gets too hard to stand, kneel. Kneel and pray. That's what I do. I hope everybody has an amazing day. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.